a successful 13-year hockey career. Finding the cold body of your father who took his own life only minutes prior. Being diagnosed with a tumor the size of a football in the center of your chest and only 14 days left to live. Trauma can happen to anyone and can be any number of things. For me, it was all three. Today, I'm gonna talk about the different types of trauma that can happen, how people deal with trauma, and how you can combat trauma. Trauma is any type of event that is emotional, spiritual, physical, or psychological, and that has harmed you. A lot of people don't understand the severity of trauma because sometimes even the person that it happened to doesn't even understand how bad it is. A lot of the stuff that they experience is internal, but even some of what they express is physical as well. Shock and denial immediately following the instance is pretty common. It's our body's way of protecting us from what happened, from feeling the full extent of what had happened. It could take days, months, or even years for you to finally comprehend what's been going on. There are numerous physical and psychological symptoms that go along with this. They could be nausea, they could be insomnia, um, lack of appetite, mood swings, depression, any number of different things. Some of them easier to see than others. One combination or side part of that is PTSD or post-traumatic stress disorder. And that's just a, a type of anxiety disorder that's caused from witnessing or experiencing a traumatic event. And with PTSD, the effects can be anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of years. For me, in 2011, when I had my motorcycle accident, I came up on an intersection and a car came out from the right side of me and I couldn't stop soon enough. For two years following that, any time a white car was coming from the right side, I couldn't help but slam on the brakes. Only now is it finally getting to the point where I can actually drive without looking like a retard going through the intersection, popping up on a green light. But when it gets to a point like that, you ask yourself, well, what the hell am I gonna do? Like, this, this isn't something that I can really deal with by myself anymore. And so I started asking questions, I started reaching out to my friends, I started reaching out to my family. I started trying to create a support system. And eventually I found a therapist and I've been seeing him ever since. Um, but the majority of my healing came with time. That's probably the biggest thing that helped me was just giving me the time to actually process the things that had happened. Also, um, staying in a really strict routine or a habit and um, trying to stay focused on my hobbies has helped me a lot, not getting back into the same rut. But in conclusion, um, many people don't really understand um, how badly trauma can be, whether it's as simple as a move to a new town or something as major as watching a family member die. So just being aware and asking questions and being there when you can is huge. Um, when, when you see somebody that's experiencing those types of trauma, just let them know that you're there for them if they need anything. The rest will sort itself out, but um, I've, I've found that my support system is great. Um, it's probably one of the biggest things that's happened out of the entire experience for me. It's, uh, it's probably one of the coolest things I've ever had prior to this. Thanks. Any questions?